So a lot of crazy shit came out over the weekend with one of the biggest streamers on any platform, and that's Dr. Disrespect. Uh, Dr. Disrespect's popularity is uh, astronomically high. If you think about game streamers, somebody's automatically going to probably say either Dr. Disrespect or Ninja. Uh, but Dr. Disrespect got permanently banned, um, I think it was a couple of years ago, from Twitch. All of a sudden, he was one of the biggest streamers on that platform. Uh, he had a huge contract with them and brought a lot of people to that site. Then he moved to YouTube. Uh, nobody knows what happened there. Nobody has said anything what's happened there until, t well, actually it was over the weekend. And that was with um, one of the former, some former person that worked for Twitch that may have known what went on. And this is Cody Connors here over X. And basically he said he got banned because he got caught sexting a minor and then the then existing Twitch Whispers product. Um, and he tried to meet up with her at TwitchCon. Now, that's a fucking bold claim. That's really bold. And the only thing that's weird about this is there's no evidence. Now, I already know on X or the internet, you're guilty until proven innocent instead of innocent until proven guilty. But a lot of people dislike disrespect because he is very, he's been kind of open um, in terms of how he feels about protecting kids and the LGBTQ community and is actually friends with Nick Merckx, which has his own controversy right now where he said things about trans people, um, which here's the thing. Um, not everybody has to subscribe to that. They don't have to. Um, you can't force somebody to do it. Um, if you're about op being open and uh, want freedom, I think everybody should have the freedom to believe whatever the fuck they want. But a lot of people immediately went after Dr. Disrespect, making plenty of uh, accusations saying this is true. Now me, now me, I've seen this happen several times with a bunch of different people. We had for one good example, uh, Pro Jared. Uh, Pro Jared was a content creator. I've been watching him when he was with Game Trailers. Uh, he had his own controversy a few years ago where um, he basically got canceled um, over some sexy, spicy things that turned out wasn't true. wasn't really true, like aside for him like posting naked or something like that. But uh, he actually won the case in his... Basically, the channel is destroyed. He still makes content, but uh, in terms of popularity, he's just not there anymore. And some things like this, like whenever somebody says something like this in the public eye, automatically, if you hear it, and they are saying that Cody is a reputable source coming from Twitch, um, people latch onto that. People just automatically going to say, yeah, that motherfucker did it. Especially a lot of people, uh, especially if you're left leaning, uh, really dislikes. Dr. Disrespect, and they will do anything to get these people off platform. There's a lot of people that are wanting off platform that has different views than what's commonly known as the good message. And I think that's wrong. I think that's wrong for these people are too busy fighting about diversity. They forget that diversity is also uh, includes freedom of expression and thoughts and opinions. That's, that's diversity. It's, it's not just skin color or uh, what genitals you have. It's, it's just none of that. Um, it's just some of it, but it's a, it's a mixing pot of different things. Um, but like I said, you have to, if you're on the internet, you have to subscribe to a certain and approved list of uh, ideologies or people, or you will pretty much be called a bigot, a child molester, whatever. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if this is true. Um, just by past seeing things like this happen, I'm not going to jump on the gun and say, hey, Dr. Disrespect diddled kids, because I don't know. There's no proof. Um, all we're taking right now is some allegations made by somebody who used to work for Twitch. Now, here's the thing. This is really easy to make this kind of stuff. So let's just say I, I'm a YouTube. Well, I, I, I stream on Twitch. I work for Twitch. Uh, Hassan Piker, he streams on Twitch. So we're co-workers sort of and I didn't like Hassan Piker because I don't like his ideologies and um, I decided to say hey Hassan Piker uh, stuffs balloon animals up his ass on a daily and texts um, old men at uh, nursing homes for sex I just put it out there there's no proof of that it doesn't exist 
And some people just latch on and say, hell, Hassan Piker is a blue man, balloon animal fucker, but also fucks nursing home people. Um, yeah, it's how it works. Rumors just spread like that. Uh, and the only thing they would say is like, well, he works for Twitch. He's a Twitch streamer, just like this guy, Cody. Now, Cody, I don't know his full thing, but I guess he used to be maybe kind of high up there in Twitch. Maybe he was um, in the know. We don't know that. We don't know that. But already people are saying that Dr. Disrespect is guilty without the actual evidence being presented. Um, like I said, um, Dr. Disrespect kind of did put his foot in his mouth a little bit. The way he uh, responded to this. Now, basically right here, this is his actual uh, comment on the matter. He says, listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch. But I just need to say what I can say since it's the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was found. And I was paid. Elden Ring on Monday. He doesn't completely come out and say, hey, I didn't fucking do it. Um, I'm assuming that there may be some NDA or something that prevents him from saying that for a certain time period. A lot of people are taking a look at that and say, hey, why didn't you just say, hey, I didn't sex the minor? Um, which that does, again, you take a look at that and you're like, that is really fishy. Even Keemstar, of all people, uh, when Keemstar is one of the voices of reason, uh, you really have something here. He says, bro... Why won't you say, I was not take, talking to mine or trying to meet up with them at TwitchCon, like was alleged. That's something he should have said. I don't know if maybe um, he had to make that for PR speak. Maybe somebody like his lawyer or something said, hey, uh, this is what you need to say. It does seem like the actual statement from Dr. Disrespect is... Um, uh, carefully, carefully worded without giving a straight answer. Um, in other words, it's one of the worst non-answers you could possibly give, but assuming his position as being one of the top streamers, highly, highly played, um, respectable streamers on any platform, I think this is probably the best way he's going to get. Now, I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know if Cody, uh, Cody Connors, is going to produce... Um, the evidence, maybe through the Twitch whispers, maybe he has access to that. I don't know. So until we see the actual proper evidence, I think it's kind of dangerous to go on and say, hey, he did it, and he's guilty no matter what. It's actually a dangerous president to put a lot of people into prison uh, for false accusations, especially during times like the Me Too movement and stuff like that, which that was a mess. That was a really big mess. Uh, people did come out um, with ulterior motives and ruined a bunch of men some of them it was rightly fucking deserved because some of these men were pieces of fucking shit and i'm not saying that um, no men's doing that because they fucking are they really are that's really happening but there has been cases where these people would come out and say this shit well, wasn't true and ruin these people's lives you come down find down the road and you find out this person said hey i actually lied and that person's either got put the guy he's either lost his job or put in prison or whatever and it comes out a little fake, and you know nothing really happens from that. Uh, still, in the public eye, he is a child molester, a domestic abuser, a sexual abuser, uh, because the internet said so. They basically just put it down, and uh, that's the hill they're going to stand on. So I'm not going to give like a guilty verdict on Doctor Disrespect until we know more. And I think a lot of people are saying that. Even Nick Merckx, one of his buddies, that's actually like I said, he has a little bit of. Um, from the internet because his stance on trans people um, yeah he even came out with something like that talked about it um, and it was quite surprising he said basically the same thing we're gonna wait see what happens see the evidence uh, see if it's true and if it's true then you know we go from there but here's the thing if it's not true Cody and the accusers are and some deep shit. They better have some really, really fucking good lawyers because they're going to get sued into oblivion if this is false. So I'll kind of keep a, keep an eye on this, see what happens with it. If something happens and it does be, come out to be true, uh, then we can cast our uh, guilty verdict on it. But until then, I'm not going to say, hey, he's guilty of this because uh, what some guy said from Twitch. We don't know. We don't know. We'll probably never know, to be honest with you. Uh, but also, this does make Twitch look bad. 
um, the fact that you know if this was happening, why wasn't authorities called? That should have been something that happened. Uh, why wasn't this brought up in any civil case? Why was it settled? Uh, it wasn't a win. It was just a settlement, which which had to pay Dr. Disrespect and also their whisper system, which uh, they are actually monitoring, which that's pretty common. A lot of people monitor this shit either on Facebook Messenger, your DMs or whatever. You got to accept that's the new reality we live in where everything is fucking monitored. Um, but I'd be actually, I, I really um, want to see what's going to happen here. Um, especially, like I said, if this comes out and it's true, what's this going to do is Twitch as a platform, especially right now, one of the controversies there is the sexual content on Twitch and the young kids that go on there to watch this and they don't really do shit about it. Most of these people get, especially uh, the lady streamers, uh, that, you know, there's one instance where somebody got railed uh, live on Twitch and got a 72 hour ban. Um, there's something weird going on at Twitch. Um, and this, if this is, like I said, if this is true, it's going to paint um, Twitch in a really bad light. And if this is false, it's going to paint that guy and Twitch in a really bad light. There's no fucking winners here. Maybe, maybe Dr. Disrespect, but we'll see. Like I said, I'm not going to give my full opinion on it. I'm not going to cast judgment until I know it's true. So I'll talk to you guys later.